A laser gives red-orange light of wavelength 632.8 nanometers. Calculate the energy in kilojoules of one mole of photons of this light. Okay. Um, so E of the photon is what we're after. Keep starting off with the wrong letter. E of the photon is equal to H nu of the photon. But this time we're not given the frequency, we're given the wavelength. Since C is equal to nu times lambda, then nu is equal to C over lambda. And we can write this H nu of the photon as H C over lambda of the photon. And H, of course, is in joule second. C is in meter uh, per second. And nu, is, nu must be in meters, so we'll end up with joules. So if we, um, if we look at this, our nanometers here need to be changed to meters before we can use this equation. So 632.8 nanometers times 1 meter per 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers gave me 6.328 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. So E of the uh, photon is equal to Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds times C, which is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by 6.328 times 10 to the negative seventh meters and E of the photon, I got uh, 1.89 times 10 to the minus 19th joules per photon. Okay, now um, the problem actually asked for one mole of photon, so uh, we'll have to multiply this number by Avogadro's number to get per mole and then convert to kilojoules. Okay, so last step is 1.89 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per photon times um, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd photons per mole. Um, and that's equal to 1.89 times 10 to the fifth joules per mole of photons. Or convert that to kilojoules, it's 189 kilojoules per mole of photons. Questions?